Hey, what's up you guys? I just finished a partial. I added a tooth and a clasp to it and had to cut off an existing clasp to move it forward. And I just wanted to do a quick video to show you guys about polishing some of the most common mistakes made. And so let's jump straight in. All right, you guys, we're gonna move over to the polishing wheel. And um, obviously there are multiple size wheels, but we're going to use this medium size wheel. I'm using a pumice uh, material that has like some grit to it so that it helps us to knock down the rough spots on the partial. And you can kind of see here, uh, it's hard to tell with this angle, but you can see some of the rough spots in the partial. Now I'm wetting the wheel because uh, you don't want a dry wheel. It will burn the, uh, the acrylic and the teeth on the partial. So with that, I'm just kind of lightly going around and knocking down the rough spots that I see. But again, keep in mind, if you stay in one spot too long or bear down too hard, you will burn the acrylic. So just some tips for a beginner. Uh, and then you see how I have my, my finger uh, over those teeth because I'm trying to keep it off of the teeth. Uh, the This polishing wheel it'll actually uh, take down some of the contours of the teeth if you're not careful. Here I flip over the partial and start to work on the edge. This is called the periphery and you just want to make sure that it's smooth and not sharp because obviously this is going to fit be, be placed in the mouth and so you just want to make sure that it's a comfortable fit with no sharp edges. All right, now we're going to move over to the other side of the motor, which will help us to finish down and shine up the partial. We're going to start with this uh, Tripoli, and basically it helps us to kind of finish down and do some of the fine work, and it'll also give the partial like a sheen. Um, and then we'll move on to the uh, high shine. So this is pretty pretty basic the same thing really you want to put your Tripoli on your wheel and then just follow it the same as with the pumice um, you just want to be careful not to burn it or uh, file down the teeth and everyone just keep in mind that uh, this these wheels they'll grab a clasp or anything and throw this out of your hand so please protect your clasp and be careful now we moved on to the high shine and it's going to do exactly what it sounds like. It's just going to shine it up. And you can actually hit the teeth with this as long as you're careful. Now it's going to leave a little bit of residue on the partial, but that's what the ultrasonic cleaner is for. This is going to clean off all of that residue and those hard to get to spots. Then just throw it in your disinfecting bath. By law, you're required to disinfect it before it leaves the lab. Keep that in mind uh, if you're new to this. Um, you may have noticed the color difference. Um, we've blended it pretty well, but the older dentures will come in with a obviously a, a more faded um, color from use. Try to blend it as well as we can, but this being on the back side, it'll probably never be seen. I hope this helped somebody, and um, please leave me a like and comment if it did. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to actually show you guys in a, a series about um, repairs and adding to partials how I did this one step by step. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.